So, uh, a new week has started. Last week we had our first proper freeze. Uh, it was minus five centigrade at night and minus one and a half during the day. And it was really interesting. It was like some sort of a rehearsal um, for what's going to come in the winter. Luckily we get now a period where temperatures are going to be between 10 and 5 degrees centigrade uh, which is the, the zone where I can still do things, where I can still work with mortar, cement, uh, caulking, paint, that sort of things. So uh, during this period, this day and night uh, where it was proper freezing, uh, we run into some problems, some expected problems and some uh, not so expected. Uh, an expected problem was the freezing of the drinking water of the chooks. Um, I have a heating element that goes in their drinking water uh, canister thing and um, so I've uh, installed now my Electra in the coop um, that is coming from the stairs there. Maybe you remember when I was building those blocks to, to form the base of the stairs to the roof terrace. I've run uh, quickly an electric electricity to the coop and made a, uh, a junction box there. So we've got power in the coop once the power is connected in the house. Another problem we had was, oh yeah, freezing of our water lines. Just like last year we had a few uh, uh, frosty nights where uh, our water supply lines were frozen and that is because at the moment they're still coming the water lines behind the white door there. They're coming from the basement through a pipe that was already leading out and then they go out of the house and then they go into the big house. So, um, and that's a vulnerable part of course because the water line is uh, exposed to the outside weather there. So I am uh, planning on installing the water line the proper way now so that is in the basement and then through the floor in what's going to be the kitchen and then a temporary hookup to the water system we have now which you know supports us in the in the small house eventually we don't want to have water there we don't want to have plumbing in the small house it's going to be uh, like a guest bathroom or so a study so later this week temperatures are going up day after tomorrow and i can hopefully knock out the perimeter wall around the roof and do the edges of the roof where the roofing ladder, the bitumen, are meeting with the walls. I want to have a bead of uh, white cement over that. Um, a drain, water drain, and then uh, when that is, is done, uh, I can uh, lay the wooden uh, plank decking on the roof. And I would, I would love to have that done. Uh, yeah, before the winter, just just to get that finished, you know, get that off of the list and, and and make it look nice and 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 usable. So I'm putting up these boards, they're going to be the forms where we will build the wall in tomorrow because tonight we have a night of freezing temperatures and then from tomorrow on it's all going to be between like 5 and 10 degrees centigrade, good, good conditions. So doing all the prep work today. And then we built uh, that wall up just like I did with the other walls. White cement and then the natural stones against the wood. This one we will flip up 
We'll pour concrete in here, place reinforcement iron, and then uh, once the wall becomes over, over say uh, the floor level of the roof terrace, then we keep this up and we start building the wall from here up and here and we leave the roofing ladder, the bitumen, terminate in the wall standing up like this so that water will never be able to enter the wall or saturate the wall. Uh, it gives a nice finish. That's all going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow is a big day. Knock out a lot of this uh, masonry stuff. Huh? I'm ready. Okay, good. Ready for it. Okay. the thickness that it doesn't fall through the holes. Okay, so this is a mud, as you say in America, or a mortar made of white cement and um, the recycled material, recycled mortar that came out of the wall that we broke open here on the terrace. I tumbled that recycled or that, that uh, uh, salvaged mortar and I sifted it through and it's fine as sand. And uh, yeah, so we recycle everything, you know, it's great.
happy we didn't build this roof out of concrete as I initially planned. Oh, what a little carrying that would have been, huh? To be able to see out okay. or seeing up. Okay. So actually, I, you could even go a little bit lower if that's structurally, you know, going to be safe. Because what's the whole point of building a wall here? Uh, safety. I think also the look would be nice. Okay. To have a little bit of a perimeter wall. I'm happy to go lower. Let's go lower then. Because I like I like being able to see completely out the way it is now. So if we can go as low as as low as we can without it being silly. I think this would be nice, no? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so as I didn't charge my batteries for the laser level, I have to do it like this. Okay, so that side needs to come a little lower. Let me have a look. Okay, perfect. And then uh, let's have a look at this side. Again. That needs to come lower. Quite a bit. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So that's the height of the wall and then we need to determine the thickness of the wall. The, uh, the original wall is 34 cm thick. That's a little over a foot. A foot and an inch. 13 inch. 34. If we were to go here at the same thickness, which we don't have to do, we'll end up about here, this thick. But I am happy to go, say, here. This thick. 25, 24 cm. So now we've established how how deep the wall will be and how high, right? And then we're gonna do things freehand. start making some mortar and uh, drag some stones up here we're gonna do some proper masonry work okay eh? yeah I was saying we want to start with stones that have a flat side so that we can uh, so that they will stand unassisted as well This will take very little effort to already get some wall going, you know?
you position a stone in the cement, you can tap it a few times, and that's it. Then you then you leave it. You cannot take it and reposition it, and you will have to uh, redo the mortar as well. Basically, we're doing sort of the grouting from the back. Cement uh, gluing these par pangs, cinder blocks in place.
Hey, buddy. Hey. Just uh, making the form, pour concrete here in the days that we still have left uh, with the right temperatures. And then, uh, cause, and then we can build a window in here. We already have received the window, double glaze, made to size. I just gotta make the frame and then install it. But uh, I just wanna have the concrete in so that it still has time to cure. It takes all the sand out and leaves all the little bits. Yeah, but and then you can go over it again with the small one. You can uh, use the big one for like big parts you want to do, just to remove a lot in one go. Do the rendering on this side later because we do the whole wall so uh, yeah I have to chisel some out excess and then uh, render the whole wall oh, looks good so far Our little prowl has an opening in the top where we feed the wood logs in, but it's it's only a little prowl, right? A little uh, fire uh, burner with a little opening, and we need to chop the wood um, so that it fits through. And every time we think we have a wood block that fits through, it ends up in the house, dries there for a week or so, and then it doesn't fit in, and then we have to go outside and chop it up smaller. So out of this old cutting board, I've just quickly drawn up the size the opening of the pole just to cut it out and then we can take this outside and we can when we cut up wood we can just stick it through and if it fits through then it can be brought in and it will fit in the pole so just uh, just to verify whether the wood is small enough uh, small things but you know they help and that's why we don't throw things away like this it's useful it's great it's plastic, can stay outside in the room. Where, where did you find that? In the kitchen. It's brand new. No. Mary, so that is a brand new chopping board. Hmm. Great. Yes? Yeah. We're going to have to buy a new chopping board now. Yeah. Yeah, okay, good one. Maybe we can still use it, it'll no. just have a hole. No. Now, let's have a look. Will it fit through? No, it won't fit through. We've got to make it smaller. Wow, let's check it out. Will it fit through? No, it will not fit through. We've got to chop some more. Let's check. 
Will it fit through? No, it won't fit through. Let's check. Will it fit through? Yes, it fits true. It fits true. That's a good size log. So as you can see, we're done with the walls now. Yeah, we've uh, brushed them and there's a nice texture in the rendering. And hopefully later we'll find some nice uh, wrought iron uh, fencing for around here or something to dress it up. Somewhere after the winter uh, we will completely render this wall. We will clean it very thoroughly and then render it as one piece and it will become one piece after the rendering. And then later on we have to work on the Concrete stairs that you see there, the pop banks, the cinder blocks, we have to dress them with natural stone and make it also blend in with the uh, yeah, entire structure really. This here is the original door opening. There was a staircase here and a little door here. We in I wanted to close it all off, make it all look nice, but then we figured you know the more light we can get into this house, into this master bedroom the better so uh, we ordered a window double glazed window i gotta make a frame but uh, yeah the wall is poured it's uh, i gotta take the molding off and then uh, i can during the winter install this window that's nice that one needs to be painted scraped glass replaced i think that's going to be a, a job for in the spring and then rendering the whole wall, dressing the whole wall. I need to finish the roof next week. Next week, well, maybe next week, maybe in two weeks, I have to go back to Holland uh, for some family affairs. Um, but what is going to come up now, that is uh, the decking here on the floor, um, the window frame with the window. We have ordered new window frames for the street side of the master bathroom and the attic little window in the attic uh, they should be in next week so uh, i'll go and install them and then it's going to be interior work during the winter it's going to be uh, the bathroom <laughs> hopefully i'll get it finished yeah well sorry it's taken so long for this video um we had a very very sick chicken that needed uh, round the they care really um, injections force feeding once a day to the vet for injections and unfortunately little benji did not make it he passed away during a surgery uh, well you do what you can do huh? i mean uh, they're more than just animals for us anyway i thank you very much for uh, watching watching until the end for liking for subscribing for commenting and a very 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 special thanks to the people who have bought us a coffee if you also would like to support the channel and help us keeping it alive, then uh, you could buy us a coffee and uh, that would be much appreciated. Well, I'm going to see you in probably two weeks from now uh, Yeah, with carpentry. I'm looking forward to carpentry. Bit, bit tired now of masonry work. It's so dirty and heavy. Right, catch you later. Bye now.